What's up everyone, I'm Gushy. In this video, we're gonna be going over how to get access to the Red Dye Merchant. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is actually play the story. You will need to get to a certain part in the story to then access the dueling tournament. So the mission that you wanna look out for and complete is called Jin from Yadikawa. I believe this is like the second or third mission. So you could do this pretty early on into the Iki expansion. At the end of the mission, you'll end up in Fune's Refuge, and the dueling rank should then be populated. From here, what you want to do is talk to this guy, which will then start the tournament. In the tournament, you'll be facing three different duelists, with the fourth and final one being the Red Dye Merchant. And so this is the hardest part, so we'll go over each duel, and I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to beat them. In these duels, you don't have any resolve, so you don't have access to Heavenly Strike or Dance of Wrath. So a general tip is to use charms to increase your parry and dodge timing. I use the Sarugami armor, which increased the perfect parry and perfect dodge windows by a major amount, along with the charm of Mizu no Kami, which made parries, perfect parries, and perfect dodges easier to perform. Alright, so the first guy that I faced was this monk dude. This guy was pretty easy as he only threw out kicks, which doesn't actually give him a point. So just try to look out for these kicks and dodge them so you can follow up with the hit. Next guy I faced was Kai. And again, this guy is pretty easy. He always throws out his unblockable attack, which all you have to do is dodge and then counter. Finally, the third person is the oil merchant. Now this is where things get a little bit harder. And this is because she changes her attack pattern after your third point. So for your first three points, all you have to do is wait for her to attack and then perfect parry. If you try to attack, she usually ends up dodging it. So just wait for that perfect parry and counter. And so after you get those three points, she then switches to a very defensive playstyle. From then she never attacks. So you'll have to go on the offensive. From here, the best way that I found to defeat her is to use your triangle attack to break her guard. After you break her guard, it should be a free hit and a point. If her guard isn't broken, just be prepared for her attack and to parry it. Finally, for the fourth fight, you'll be facing the Red Die Merchant. Again, this guy has two attack patterns depending on how much points you get. For the first four points, it's pretty easy. If you stay at a medium distance, he'll always do a spinning attack, which you have to dodge, then follow up with attack that you should parry. If you're too far away, He'll do this 3-step charging attack, which again can be parried, but just has a little bit different timing. Okay, for the 5th point, he changes his attack a little bit. After his unblockable spinning attack, he either goes into another unblockable or a parryable attack. They look exactly the same, and my reactions weren't good enough to press the right button on the fly, so the safest bet is to always dodge. If you can, try to get a little bit distance away, so he does his running attack, which can be parried, and then counter to get that final point. After you defeat him, the tournament will be over and he should be available to purchase items from. Now once this is over, you're not going to find him in Fune's Refuge. Instead, you're going to have to open up your map and then fast travel to his location right over here. And so now this is pretty important. As a reward for beating him in the duel, you now get one item for free. If you're a collector and you probably will get everything in his inventory later on in the game, I recommend getting the item that costs the most, which is the variation to this Samurai Clan armor, which will be seen in the trailer, and the same design as Young Jin. So if you really want to be optimal with your spending, this is the thing to go for. If not, just get the thing that you like. I got this mask because I thought it looked pretty cool. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about how to get to the Red Dye Merchant. If you found this helpful, please drop a like, and consider subscribing as I'll be dropping a ton more Ghost of Tsushima content. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one, and GG.